it's Angela Kim from TheSquishyMonster.com and today I'm bringing to you a Korean stuffed pancake. It's stuffed with this ooey gooey oozing brown sugar syrup and it's got a little bit of spice, a little bit of crunch and it's something that I ate a lot as a child that I have very fond memories of because it's a very popular Korean street vendor food. So I hope you guys will enjoy. The very first thing I'm going to do is glue my yeast. So in some warm milk, I'm going to dissolve some of my yeast and set that aside. And then to my dry bowl, I have some weighed out unbleached flour. I'm going to sprinkle in some salt and some sugar and whisk it all together and set that aside as well. Now all you have to do is spill in the yeast and milk. And you want to give everything a mix. Here is my dough after about an hour. So it's still very sticky and I'm just going to knead it on my work surface. So I'm just going to lightly flour my work surface and my hands and I'm just going to deflate some of the air bubbles. And you don't want to use too, too much flour. I actually think that's too much, but you can just spread it out to the side and just make sure it's lightly floured. And then we're going to take out our dough, which you can see has all those little kind of cobweb looking streaks throughout it and you want to place it on your board and just work it until it comes together. When it comes together like this I'm just going to shape it into a rough log shape and I'm going to portion out my dough. My recipe will yield four to six, just depending on how big you want them. So now all I've done is portion them out and I'm gonna cover with plastic and let it sit aside to rest for 15 to 30 minutes. The filling couldn't be simpler and is completely customizable for sweet and savory applications. So to some brown sugar, I'm going to sprinkle in some cinnamon and some chopped nuts. You can use cashews, pecans, walnuts, even ground up sesame seeds. Really the sky is the limit with the filling. My balls have risen considerably and so now I'm just dusting all the surface area with some flour and rolling each one out so I can fill it with that kind of gooey, caramely filling. And that's what's traditional and it's what I grew up eating and how I had it whenever I had it at the street vendors in Korea. But you can really, like I said, really make it your own. So when you flatten out a disc somewhat like that, you can take your filling and Nestle in, in the center, about a half a tablespoon to a tablespoon of filling, and then just gather the edges and seal it, and pinch it to seal it. When your oil heats up, and I just heated up some grapeseed oil, it's kind of shimmering now, so I can place one of my buns seam side down and then you want it to develop a golden exterior before you flip it and then I'm just going to take a plain old spatula and smash it down. When it gets really nice and golden you want to carefully flip this guy and then you want to use the force of your spatula and just press it down as hard as you can to flatten it without bursting any of the filling. So just flatten it down with your fingers using the force of your spatula. And you want this side on the other side to get golden as well. 